let's do this bathroom. This half bathroom right here. How much money are we allowed to spend in this half bathroom? <laughs> Please be 700. Please be 700 or 2,000. I don't need anything. <gasps> yes! No, 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 no! No! Summer is close to ending. That means winter. <gasps> oh my god, yay! Christmas time! I love Christmas! <gasps> Let's go back to the sledding resort. Huh? Oh. Oh! Oh! Fall comes after summer. That was uh, a little awkward. You just lost more brain cells. Huh? Same. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back here in a block bork. We're gonna be building a house where each room is a different budget. To make things even more interesting, we're gonna be using this mystery wheel that I've customized. So we have 700, 3000, 12,000, 10,000, 7,000, and 1000 as our budgets. I just chose some really random numbers and hopefully, there might be something interesting out of all of this. So yeah, I'm gonna be using a mystery wheel to choose which rooms will have a budget. And to save us a bit of time, I've already made the shape of the house. I've already colored the outside of the house. I've made the roofs. I already added the windows because every single building video, I make the shape and I get bored watching myself. We save time. But yeah, this is what the house looks like. I kind of went for a contemporary con contemporary theme. You might think it's like modern, but I feel like it's more on the contemporary side. I guess it's contemporary modern. I, I don't know what's how to describe this but it's definitely not suburban um the landscaping is a little bit whack i don't i don't mind so far it's a two-story home i already made my rooms as well so this is going to be a half bathroom it will only have a toilet slash sink it is not going to have a shower or a bathtub in here which is why it's called a half bathroom but right here it's going to be a bedroom and then this is going to be a kitchen and then this is going to be a great room slash dining area right here this is a little porch and this is a back porch upstairs we have ourselves uh, two bedrooms. One bedroom's gonna have a bathroom. This bedroom's gonna have a closet. And maybe this room should have a closet too. I don't know. The roof, I'd say, is simple and good enough for what it is. Alrighty, so the first area we're going to be decorating is this bedroom right here. Let's go to our handy dandy mystery wheel and see what budget we're gonna have for this bedroom. Alright, cool. Nice. 7,000. We'll change one of them to 2,000 instead. Let's do that. That's more exciting. This room's going to be $7,000. How am I going to do that? So we have to stop decorating this room at 58280 The first thing I'm actually going to just do is buy the most expensive bed because I don't know. I don't really spend that much money to decorate a bedroom, honestly. Oh, this is not that difficult. This is not that difficult at all. That doesn't look so good. What if I put it up here? Is that better if I put it like right? Um, What else can we add into this room? We could add a... I think we can add this like ladder shelf. I should be careful how I spend my money actually because I need enough money to decorate the walls. I think I forgot to put windows on the back of the house. Oops. Maybe I should quickly add a window. Okay, I'll do that in the end. Okay, the reason why I don't use this bed often is because like the texture you choose will be the textures for the pillowcases. It should be separated. Um, what do you- Ugh, that's ugly. Oh my god, my eyes. Maybe you could add some paintings on the wall. Get some paintings. Let's use these modern paintings. I feel like these would fit the best. Yeah. Oh, okay. Our budget for this room is until 58288 Hmm, what should I do? What should I do for the textures? I'll add the window later. Okay, we're still in budget. That's good. And then maybe you could add a carpet in here. And it's still in our budget. Very good. Okay, let's add this lighting. Of course, we're gonna make that warm lighting. Alright, that's all I'm gonna do. Alright, so we stopped at 58294 Our budget was 288 so we use the right amount of money for this bedroom so that's good that's done i'm done with this bedroom it doesn't look that exciting but oh well <laughs> all right so the next area i'm gonna decorate is the kitchen will be right here let's go to our mystery wheel and see how much of a budget we can use for this kitchen oh my god <laughs> no 2000 i love how it's so excited like when you Who's the winner? Okay, we have the stuff at 56,294. All right, so the stove, we'll need definitely need a stove. <gasps> Wait a second. Is this even enough for a kitchen? We have a fridge, we have a stove. Hmm, okay. We'll just use the cheapest counters because why not? Save us some money so we can buy some other things. I do want an island. Let's see. I want to use a shaker counter. These are fairly cheap, so I will use the shaker one. And they look decent too. Oh, these are kind of cheap. $60 per. Okay per cabinet oh okay we're getting close to the budget we have to stop at 294 oh no this is basically it for my kitchen i'm not gonna have appliances this kitchen's quite open anyway so i'd say this much is the kitchen so i definitely have to color the wall what am i gonna do what am i gonna do i need to get rid of one of these okay that's basically it that's all i can do for this kitchen um we have our stove we have our fridge but we just don't have our appliances so that's our kitchen very lackluster but that's fine 
$90. Ugh, I came in out of light there. So the next area is our living room slash the great room. Let's see how much money we use for the living room slash great room. Please be something uh, plentiful. <gasps> okay, woo! Okay, all right. All right, 12,000 it is for the great room. 44,314 is when we have to stop. We don't have much going on in the kitchen, so let's just get ourselves a nice industrial dining table. We're gonna build a fireplace. This house needs a fireplace. If it's gonna be like contemporary sort of, I feel like we need a fireplace. And then I'm gonna use the large stylish sofa because I feel like that's gonna fit with this house. And then that'll leave us 4,000 more dollars for us to decorate the rest of it, which is good. I haven't put the floors down. Wait, I should put the floors down. I'll do that later. There you go. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Oh, wait, we could have put a shelf here. We'll do a bit of lighting too. I'm going to need a ceiling fan. Let's grab ourselves a ceiling fan for this spot. How's that look so far? Okay, not bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. We have about 2,000 more dollars to work with somewhat. Uh, just put a plant. What's going to be right there? I need something there. Only $30. Wow, what a steal. Yay, this is our great room. Okay, so before I started this challenge, I needed to add the floors first. That's it for my grand room, my the great room, the slash living room, whatever we call it. It looks good when the roof is down, but when you take the roof off, it just feels empty. Why? My brain is tricking me. Let's do this bathroom, this half bathroom right here. How much money are we allowed to spend in this half bathroom? <laughs> Please be 700. Please be 700 or 2000. I don't need anything. <gasps> yes! No, 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 no! No! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to spend in this half bathroom? I wasn't expecting to spend a lot of money in this room. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, but I have to, I guess. The mystery wheel decided that I must I use a chandelier for this room. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Uh, we have to stop at 32000 Somewhere around $32,000. So let's grab the most expensive stuff we can find. Let's grab this antique bathtub. Oh, wait. It's a half bathroom. I can't use I can't use a shower or anything. Oh, how am I going to spend $12,000 for this? And then we just need a sink. That's really all we needed for this. Just a toilet and a sink. I couldn't care less about this bathroom. But we have to use $12,000. Do I have expensive toilet paper? Oh yes, the 321. Here, expensive toilet paper. Get an expensive mirror if we can. Let's get this professional mirror. It is... What else can we spend? What else can we spend to put in here? I'm gonna put a TV in here. I don't care. I'm putting a TV in here. Anything to spend the money. Enough money. Oh, let's get ourselves a modern wall clock and put it in here too. Yay! You know what? It's actually not that bad. I can spend some money. It's not that bad. Okay, maybe a bubble blower too. We've spent nearly about $12,000. We're at $33,000 and our, our budget was at till until $32,000. So that's fine. Pretty much it. All right, let's go to the next area upstairs. Let's work on this bedroom here. And it does have a bathroom next to it. So they are separate. So we're going to have to use two mystery wheels for these separate rooms. So the bedroom is going to be... Oh, 2000 Not bad. Oh, please, 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 please. Not $12,000. Not $12,000. Not $12,000. Oh my God, it's $12,000. I'm not even gonna be able to afford anything after this. 33504 minus 12,000. And we have to stop until 21,000. So our budget was until 21,504. And uh, we have, we finished this room with 21,797. Very plain. Uh, yep, yeah, that's our bedroom. All right, moving on. So this next bathroom right here. What will we need to spend next? It's a separate room. So what are we gonna spend? Please be like cheap. Yay! Okay, thousand dollars for this bathroom. Okay, I think that should be good enough. We only need a thousand dollars for this bathroom. So let me get a toilet. I'm just gonna use a. Let's get a Mr. Flush toilet. Maybe I un I underestimate how much I spend. I think. Wait, we only have like a couple hundred. We have like a hundred, two hundred left. Can I even put a light in here? <gasps> Do I even have enough for a light in this room? Okay, I guess this room's not gonna have a light. Okay, I'm done. This is my bathroom. I only had $1,000 to spend on it, and I probably chose the worst. If I get rid of this shower, replace it with the cheaper one. Let's just get rid of the carpet. So our budget was 20797 and we landed exactly on that number. Wow. This room has a, a little bit of warm lighting, but not... It's not the perfect warm lighting, but that's good enough. All right, for this next bedroom, let's go ahead and decide how much money we will have to spend for this. This next bedroom, how much money will we have? All right, another 12,000. 
<laughs> How many times is this 12,000 gonna get chosen? I'm sick of it, honest. So 8,797 is our, our budget. Okay. Fine by me. That's fine by me. <laughs> All right, this is our other bedroom. There's not a whole lot either going on in here, but I think it's really good enough. Like, it's minimalistic, sort of, in a way. So we don't need too many things going on in the room. The last area we're gonna decorate is the deck. And if we get something that's $12,000, I'm not able to use it because I only have $8,000. I consider the deck, I guess, its own room. All right, you know what? I think that's good enough. 2,000 for this deck, this like balcony thing. Balcony deck, okay, you can stop. Stop clapping, thank you. That like brown or something, dark taupe, yes. Perfect, my favorite color. All right, perfect. Okie dokie, that's it. That's all, that's all I'm gonna do. Some parts of the house I don't really consider room, so I'm just gonna quickly um, add some windows because I forgot to do that. I was supposed to have my windows already done, but I forgot. Alrighty, I'm finished. Um, I left out two porches, to be honest, but that's fine. I, I, I don't mind. I don't want to decorate the porches. So as we enter the place, we got ourselves a fairly decent living room slash dining. This is the great room. So I kind of combined the dining and the living room together to make the great room. I don't know if that's how it actually works. Uh, so this is, yeah, our great room. And then this is my kitchen, which is very lacking because I only had 2000, I think, dollars to decorate this. And we got what we needed. We have a stove and we have a fridge and a sink. So that's a win in my book. Functionality, that's fine. All right, the next room we have here is our... <laughs> okay, this is a half bathroom and I had to spend $12,000, at least somewhat close to 12,000 in here. So you have like really expensive things in going on in here. All right, and then if we go over here, this is the bedroom, one of the bedrooms. I think this was also 12,000, I forget. And if we finally go upstairs, oh my God, I forgot to co color a couple walls. If we go upstairs, the first room here is one of the other bedrooms. And yeah, this was $12,000. This bathroom, very lacking. You can tell by the quality of each room, like how much you had to spend for it. Although some of the expensive rooms are kind of looking terrible too. This is also another bedroom. Okay, another $12,000 bedroom. Another bedroom. And then this is the closet. If we go to the deck outside here, the balcony area, we have a little picnic table, a couple lounge chairs, planting boxes, and a barbecue. So yeah, that's basically it for this tour of the house. Um, it was quite interesting to see what the mystery wheel decided for us. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you found it interesting, dumb, silly, or inspiring in some sort of way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to continue watching any other Roblox videos on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I'll talk to you in the next videos. Stay tuned. It's awesome. Have a wonderful day. Pita Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody.